So obviously, uh, once you get to the point where you actually have them where they feel like they're at a correct tension, to get them tuned so that all of them, pitch-wise, is actually so they're perfectly in tune with each other, which is also tension. Um, you can go around and like you actually can hit the edge a little bit, pretty close to it, like around here, uh, close to the tension rod. And then with that, um, you'll go. You can hit that one and then hit one next to it. And if they sound that like they're different, get the one that you like that sounds right and try and match the other one to it, whether it's tuning up or down. Um, but but the, only, the only kind of crazy part that comes into that is both of these that are across from each other, like this, those actually, um, those will change the pitch of that particular one. So you, you, what you can do is you go in there and if you have this and it's, it's tuned exactly how you like it, it sounds just right, you hit that, you hit this, and then if you have to tune this up um, and you have to tune it up a little bit to make it so that it matches pitch here, once you've tuned that up, press this again and press this and make sure that they're matched. If this one feels a little bit looser than this one does, in order to make it so, like obviously it has to be at a certain tension to have that certain pitch. And right now this side's a little tighter than this one. So you'll loosen this just a tad and then tighten this one up just until they both have that note that matches this that you're looking for. And once you do that all the way around the whole drum, a lot of it's just repetition, doing it a ton until it just sounds just right. And once it does, you'll hit it and you just go, yeah, okay, that's, that's just how I like it to sound. It sounds very good and it brings out, has a full tone, it doesn't sound kind of warbly at all. If, if, like, say this note and this note are tuned a little bit tighter, a little looser than each other, when you hit it, you'll get kind of like a whoa, 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 What that is, there's two frequencies that are really close to each other, but one of them's a little lower, so when it rings out, they kind of fight with each other, and it gives you that kind of warbly sound. But when they're in tune with each other, you'll hear, like, after you hit this, and then you hit this, and as you're tuning it up, you'll hear it's kind of like whoa, 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 and then all of a sudden they'll just go, whoa, and they, they ring out together. And that's more or less matching pitches. Um, so once we have that, that's, that's pretty much what you do with the top and the bottom of all the toms. That's kind of more or less the, the best way to get those in tune. And then from there, it's really just preference of like how deep, you know, how loose, you know, how tight. The tighter you make it, obviously, the higher the, the sound is. The looser you make it, the lower the sound is. So it's really just preference of how you want the top and the bottom tuned and how you want it to sound. A lot of it's just playing with it a lot until you get it so it sounds just right to you. Um, and a lot of it, I mean, it, it's really completely not really preference, like what's your favorite cereal, everybody will say something different. Um, that's why some drummers will sit down in another, drum, another group of drummers drum set and they'll just kind of be like, eh, it's not exactly right, but they sit on theirs and they're like, yeah, that's just right, because it's, it's really preference, it's what you like. Um, to, to kick drums, uh, that's the same type of thing uh, with kick drums, it's obviously a bigger drum, so the tensions are a little bit different than what you would have on the actual um, toms themselves. Um, there's kind of, it's, it's pretty similar to toms, you'll, you'll get the front head, um, for the most part, uh, you get the front head to kind of get the tone that you want, and then you can tune, uh, or I should say the batter side, which is the side that you actually hit it, and then the resonant side is the side that actually rings out. So this would be the batter side, resonant side, same type of thing, you're just kind of laying it down, it's obviously a much larger. Um, with that same thing where you're going to press tensions and just kind of feel and see how it sounds for you. Um, no, you usually, you usually can actually just um, hit it with your hand and you can hear it. Because most of the time the, um, the sticks are, are hardwood. Most of the time the actual beater that's going to be on the kick drum pedal is going to be felt, which is going to actually have a similar, uh, I would say, texture or similar density as your, as your hands. So when you hit it, it's going to be a lot more similar of a tone from your hands than it would be from a drum stick. Uh, so drum stick's going to add a little bit more high frequencies, and it's not, you'll end up tuning it to that, and then when you hit it with your kick drum, you're going to be like, oh, that doesn't sound exactly how I wanted it to, or it might sound, you know, not as tight or not as, not as good to me. Um, so with the with the, the back head, you'll more or less get the desired tone that you like out of out of that head. Then the front head, that's going to control how long it rings out. How you do that is you get this fir the first note, the batter side that you're hitting with the actual beater. Uh, you get the note that you like out of that, and then the front head, you can tune it looser, which will give it um, same thing as with the tom, where you kind of get a kind of tone. It's it's not a very punchy one. It's just kind of like a really round sounding one, which you hear in. Um, uh, some, probably a, a, like 90s kind of grunge rock, alternative rock, that was a very popular thing to do. Um, then what, uh, another way to do it is you can tune them to the exact same, same pitch. What happens when you tune them to the exact same pitch, you get a really long, really, really fat sounding uh, ring out, which is what you hear a lot in uh, funk, uh, hip hop, R&B, or when you hit it and it just gets a boom and it kind of rings out really long. 
Uh, so tuning them the same, you get that type of sound. Then tuning the front head uh, tighter than it, uh, than, the, than the batter side, you're actually going to get more of a uh, fat kind of punchy sound. You hear more of kind of a, a whack kind of sound at the end of it. What that is is when you hit this and then it hits the front head, if the front head is tighter, it kind of makes a smack noise because it's, it's a, there's a lot of air that's moving within there. And when it hits that front one, it kind of makes it go whack and it makes it kind of get really tight and it gets that tone. Uh, you'll hear that in a, lot of, a lot in metal and a lot in rock. Um, with this though, a lot of it's just playing around until you get the exact sound that you want because um, every, every musician, every drummer will tune it just a tad different than the other. So it's, it's like I said, yet again, another preference type of thing.